Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I am Slip Shock, and today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, first impressions for Digimon Survive. Now, we waited for this game for about four years, and uh, I didn't know what to expect. I tried my best to go into this with, um, aside from the videos I did make on this page, I went in there to try to go in with the most blind, um, reception to the game um i know, knew a few things about it like you know, some stuff my homie was telling me about it beforehand and i figured i just while i've played about maybe nine hours all together um and i just kind of want to talk about it you know ju just to put these thoughts out there for people who want to get the game or who don't or things of that nature so um Let's go ahead and preface all of this before we get into the video that I do uh, stream on Twitch as well. The link is in the description. And just to be, you know, just be clear, that's where I'm doing the Digimon playthrough currently. And any videos or things like that, I'll bring back here. But for the most part, my entire playthrough will be on, um, will be on Twitch. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and get to the video. So. The, I guess, elephant in the room is it is a JRPG, so it doesn't play like a few things that other people do. Um, they didn't, if for people that, you know, thinking there was going to be a complete translation between, uh, what is it? Digimon Cyber Sleuth to this, it was a completely different experience. Completely. Um, like, you know, one of my, uh, was talking to one of my homies about Digimon Cyber Sleuth feels like a Pokemon Switch. So like, it feels exactly like Pokemon where you're able to capture other Digimon and things like that. And, and, you know, just like train them and make them better. And <clears throat> excuse me, Jesus. Um, while wow, this is a very much a animated comic book, basically. And that's, I kind of like that because it was, you know, that, and what I do not, it's a small, you know, con to it is that it did take a while to get between, get to the place where you can do combat to story, combat to story. So in the first like eight hours, um, the dialogue is like 80% while combat is like 20 and for people who don't is are not like invested into the story They will not like that um, Because you know if they're in, invested in playing Digimon and fighting Digimon and you know Just getting into the battle part of Digimon. It takes a while to get to that part and It does have a lot of dialogue that if you don't care about the game or you don't care about the story Which I mean if you don't care about the story while you're playing the game. I get that. But if you are hesitant and you don't know how to play, like for example, let's say people wanted to try it out with a two hour trial, like on um, PlayStation, you won't be able to do anything. You, you won't get a good representation of how the game is with that two hours. You're going to be reading dialogue the entire time. And that's if it's from the beginning for two hours. You don't have that. So that is a, you know, a small con. Another small con for me is no English dub. Granted, I get it. Again, I said it before. It's a JRPG. So I understand that it's a game where Japanese is going to be the main thing talking. And I do, you know, appreciate the fact that, you know, we did the game. But I would have liked an English dub, you know. Just because as I am streaming, I don't understand some of these words, like some of the translations. Um, and not understanding about the names. I, I hate getting someone's name wrong and I get the name wrongs for most people in here. And so it that's a me problem. So it's not like a big deal. It's not like, oh my God, this game is trash because it didn't have English dub. No, not, not at all. But, um, you know, it is something that, again, it'll pull people off who don't like to read subs. But, you know, getting those out of the way, I do think that it's a very good, um, 
prime example bat the battle i love it the um actual battle stage of the game is pretty cool now i will say that the choices that be that you have to make to get certain evolutions or to have digimon ev ev evolve is a little bit stressful and i say this because the way the characters do talk some of them are kind of annoying uh some of the characters are very annoying and you can very tell that, that, that this is a a game where the characters they don't necessarily care about each other and that's very much how the the uh Digidestin started from the beginning of the um, TV show. So I kind of understand that some had relationships beforehand, but for the most part, they had to build their relationship with each other um, as they went to that. So that I, I can get that. I get that. But, you know, like this right here, I have to talk to people and have them like inspire their Digimon to evolve. Because right now, the only person that's evolved for me personally has been um, Agumon. And that was a. I have mixed feelings about that because I did not know how. I didn't, okay, I didn't know how they were going to go when it came to the evolutions. I, I knew about it, but I didn't know about it, right? So I knew that, you know, it was going to be some choice that needed to be made. And when it needed to be made, it affects your, um, your, like the morality with the with the Digimon, but I didn't think it was going to go out of out of like character. So like Agumon had this very big moment of of like I need to protect my Digi Destin, and he you know he transformed, he evolved, and I was so happy because I'm like I, I I was hoping to see Greymon, and I was expecting maybe I didn't do something right, so I, maybe I seen Skull Greymon, and you know. I need to do better with Agumon, but then I felt like it was felt like it was a very neutral choice when Tyranimon came up, and it threw me off a little bit. It didn't it didn't curb my excitement because I was still very excited when it happened, but it just felt a little blindsidey, you know. Like I didn't I did not know that Tyranimon can come out of nowhere. You know, I, I didn't expect him to come out. In that transformation, I should have because I played Cyber Sleuth, but I did just it didn't, it just did not correlate for me. So that was kind of a, a cool. But overall, like right now, I am trying to convince a uh, Digimon to join my squad. Now I already have this Digimon, so I'm kind of just I think if I remember correctly, I am just trying to test the waters and see what what can be said, what can be done, or things of that nature, and then. I'm kind of after that, probably going to move from that, but, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else overall, this one's up, cause this is kind of just quick. Um, I say quick and it's like almost 10 minutes, uh, <laughs> uh, kind of a quick, like first impressions, because I do really care about the game and it is definitely a game where I do not mind playing and I wouldn't mind playing this offline either. Like this is a game that I, I, I I wish they kind of had some um, some different slots, like different where you name different slots, kind of like how Cybersleuth was, where you can name different slots or not name, but you know, you you know, like okay, I can say my stream playthrough is on uh, save one, and then my save three is my um, personal playthrough, and do it like that. So that way I can kind of just like, you know, play when I'm not streaming because that's, that's my biggest thing is that I want to play sometimes, but I don't want to stream and I don't want to move the progress that was on, on the screen, you know, uh, that was on stream yet. But overall, I currently first impressions, I'll give the game a, um, a seven out of 10 right now. Um, maybe even a 6.5 out of 10 strictly because of how long it took to get to, um, to combat. I do say this, you will enjoy yourself once you give that, that time frame to be able to, 
like wait until the com the combat comes because the story is good like if you actually pay attention the story is pretty cool it's a very suspenseful suspenseful and i do think you're gonna enjoy it other than that i think we're good to go i will see you on the next video i will probably be doing uh a stream or two depending like depending by, by the time this video goes i'm pretty sure i'll be doing at least one more stream um and I guess that's it guys. I will see you guys later. Please remember if you like these type of videos, go ahead and um, break that like button down and just break it. I right? break it. Hit the like button so much you break it. And if you're new here, click hit that sub button. If you like Digimon stuff, Pokemon stuff, Marvel stuff, DC stuff, um, stuff, <laughs> just go ahead and hit that sub button. And if you're, whether you're new or you're old and you want to be notified for any videos that I go ahead and put up, hit that bell button. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.